Hi everyone and welcome to my Slimming World Christmas tag video Q&A. I was tagged by the lovely Yvette so thank you for tagging me and I am going to give you my answers to these questions. So the first question that we've got is will you be on plan for Christmas? So yes I am going to be on plan for Christmas. Um, I will be um, flexing in Christmas day, possibly Boxing day, um, but what uh, myself and my husband are doing is going to my parents for Christmas dinner. Um, my mother also does Slimming World, so she's. I know that she's going to be incorporating um, a lot of Slimming World into the dinner. Um, you know, we'll have everything that we have will pretty much be on plan um, but then there's like the Christmas bits so then there's like pigs in blankets, stuffing, um, gravy, that sort of thing. Um, then I, I'm not sure what starter she's doing but I think it's going to be something relatively okay and um, I believe she's made something Slimming World friendly for pudding. Now I don't like Christmas pudding or Christmas cake, mince pies, anything at all like that. So I can't remember what it is she's made, but it sounds really nice and it's relatively low sin, I believe. Um, I won't be able to vlog um, because the family will be there, but I will definitely either take pictures or I'll just take a little quick video and explain what um, what it is I'm having. So I will be completely on plan after that. Um, the only thing that I've got is I've got one box of my favourite chocolates and this is what I did last year. I had Christmas dinner um, with all the trimmings and I had one box of my favourite chocolates which is the seashells, the Pauline seashells. I allow myself that because I don't want to completely deprive myself and I'm totally happy with um, with just having those chocolates. We haven't got anything else in the house that is, um, you know, like treat wise. Our shopping came this morning actually, because it's Saturday today. Um, and the only thing that was in there different was the um, chocolates my husband's got, I think a tub of roses. I'm not fussed on roses, so that'll be his. And I've got my chocolates. So if I eat those over Christmas day and Boxing Day, then I'm done. And last year I actually lost two and a half pounds over the Christmas period. So, you know, it's it's something that I would like to do again. But I'm I'm not depriving myself. So yeah. <laughs> that was a bit of a long story for my um first question. But I just wanted to explain what my plan was and how I am gonna be tackling it. So yeah. So, number two, question number two, Brussels sprouts, yes or no? Definitely, 100% yes. I love Brussels, uh, Brussels sprouts. Um, you've probably seen, if you've seen any of my food diaries um, on here, you'll see that I have Brussels sprouts quite a lot. I'd probably eat them every day if I could. Um, I really love them. Um, so yeah, definitely going to be having Brussels sprouts. They, they probably, along with broccoli, one of my favourite veggies, so yep. Yeah love Brussels sprouts. Okay, so next one is give one Slimming World friendly meal that is suitable for Christmas day other than a roast. Now I really did think about this because there's, you know, to me the only thing that I would definitely have would be a roast. But I sort of, I really enjoy um, like mixed grills and things so I thought what about a mixed grill sort of a Christmas mixed grill so you could have that totally on plan because you know all the meat as long as it's lean you know you could have steak could have chicken breast um, you know a pork steak um, muscle food sausages the free ones or even sort of a low sin sausage to go with it and then you could have mushrooms and egg fried in fry light mushy peas, Slimming World chips, um, beans, you know, and there's so much you could do with that as well. So that would be my suggestion um, because I've been watching some of um, the other videos and the people who've been tagged and, you know, they've pretty much said what I was going to say. But yeah, I think maybe a mixed grill would be nice, something different. You could even use a few sins for onion rings and some garlic bread and still stay really, really low because all the meats would be free, the Slimming World chips and the eggs and the 
mushrooms and mushy peas and everything would be free. So yeah, Living World Mixed Grill. Okay, so next question. Um, do you dress to impress on Christmas Day or get comfy in your PJs? So um, we don't really dress to impress, um, but we do get dressed because obviously we're going down my parents. So I'll be probably wearing jeans and I'll probably wear this t-shirt. I don't know if you can see it. It's a um, Harry Potter inspired um, Christmas t-shirt with Dobby and his little stocking. Um, so I'll probably wear this just to... Um, get a little bit of Christmas in and some jeans and then you know in the morning before we um, leave and then when we come home I'll be back in my PJs because I'm that's when I'm most comfortable so yeah mix of both really next question okay so favorite choice of Christmas drink low sin or sin free um so I don't really drink um very very rarely I have a alcoholic drink um, if I do have a drink when I'm out or anything, I normally have a fruit cider, you know, like a Copperberg or a um, Recordling, is it? Something like that. But they're quite high. So for, for low sin, um, it's going to be something really boring, <laughs> I'm afraid. Um, like a Diet Coke um, or Diet Lemonade. Or I do like the J2Os as well. And I think they range from between three and five sins a bottle, which isn't really too bad. Um, you know, that would sort of be my sort of more my choice then at Christmas, something like that, um, rather than a Diet Coke. But, you know, I'm happy with Diet Coke or, like I say, lemonade, just a, a diet soft drink, really. But the J2Os, they're really nice and they come in lots of different flavours. Um, they sort of like... Um, a juice drink um so yeah like i said i don't really drink that much but um yeah so between three and five cents okay next what would be your yeah what would be your ideal on plan christmas day pudding now i had to think about this for a little while as well um but i I've sort of experimented with desserts um, in the past and one of the favourite ones that I came up with was quite simple really. Um, it was involving quark, so using a pot of quark and mixing that with some um, options. So my favourite is the salted caramel options. They're two sins. I use the little stick packs. Mix that in with a pot of quark and a little bit of sweetener and just leave it so the flavours develop. I don't really leave it for very long um, or you can leave it overnight and then have it the next day so I would have that in a little bowl and then I would crumble um, a low sin chocolate bar over the top so I've got I've put down an arrow which is seven sins or you could have um, no sorry seven and a half sins for an arrow I think I'm getting I, I can double check um, or a flake or something or some sort of chocolate bar that would crumble over the top so you'd get that nice um, sort of crumbled chocolate or you could grate some chocolate over the top um, then have some salted caramel sauce which is my favourite um, it's two and a half cents for a level tablespoon um, and then put that over the top or you could just put um, some golden syrup over the top and to me that would be a really lovely dessert so if the let's have a look so two nine so that would be within your sins for the day um because even if you had a chocolate bar that was 10 sins um and you sort of grated that over the top or crumbled it like a whisper or something which is nine you know the salted caramel options is two and the caramel sauce the salted caramel sauce or the golden syrup they're both two sins two and a half sins a tablespoon so you know to me that would be on plan and definitely worth it because the quark is free and it's protein and it's really thick and creamy and really really good so yeah that would be my sort of ideal on plan christmas pudding because i don't like minced meat or anything so yeah um, next question is favourite Christmas song. So I actually have two. Um, the first one is Do They Know It's Christmas. Um, I love that song because um, I love Gavin and Stacey and if you've never seen it there's a scene where um, 
Smithy is in the car and he is singing down the phone to Gavin and they sort of sing this song that's on the radio and it always reminds me of that and it just you know brings back happy memories kind of I know it's um yeah that's the cat wanting to come in I can edit in a minute but yeah I really like that song and also the little drummer boy um which is sort of more of a classic um Christmas song um because it reminds me of being younger and you know my my uncle who's now passed um he we would play songs like that you know on the old cassette players and things and that is one of the songs that we used to play quite a lot so yeah that reminds me of uh happy times happy memories yes yeah, so next is number eight is favorite christmas film uh, again i've got two first one is santa claus the movie um it's the one with dudley moen um it's a really old um really old film but it's something that we grew up on and we would watch every christmas and you know i always remember um the lollipops in there um and yeah it was it was just you know something that holds a good memory for me and remembering i think it's john lithgow he's the sort of baddie in it and he always used to frighten me but yeah you know it was such a good film and you know it was a real sort of family film so yeah i really really love that one santa claus the movie not santa claus where um, i think jim allen is in it but no this is the sort of the older one i think is from the 1980s i can't quite remember but um yeah i love that one and also the holiday kate winslet and cameron diaz um where they swap houses i've actually been watching that today that's one of my favorite holiday um christmas films as well so yeah i really enjoy those um number nine bread sauce yes or no no um <laughs> i don't really like it um it's only sort of within the last say year or two that I'm actually liking cranberry sauce so perhaps I might you know give it another try at some point but at the moment no I don't like it at all um so yeah that's number nine number ten give one example of low sin Christmas chocolates or sweets so my example is matchmakers um when I was in group on Tuesday they had the salted caramel ones which were really really good um I've been looking for them but not been able to find them um so matchmakers are one sin each they I think what I found on the app was orange honeycomb milk min milk mint and salted caramel they're all excuse me they're all once in each and there was a mini one on there as well which i've not seen before excuse me which is half sin so yeah you know you could have you could have a handful of those and still be you know under your sins as well so i hope you all enjoyed that um and uh, my answers so to tag I've been looking to see who to tag and it seems like loads of people have actually done it which is brilliant because I think it's really fun um so I tag Gemma Gemma FSW um I don't think she's done it from what I can see um and anybody else who wants to do it because I think it is such a fun um fun idea um yeah so I'm trying to think of anybody else who could do it um maybe Roseanne and Sarah um I link the channels down below so yeah you can sort of join in with our Christmas tag if you've not done it already because I have been looking to see who's done it um but yeah thank you again to Rebecca for tagging me I really enjoyed thinking about my answers and um thinking about sort of different meals and you know memories and things as well so yeah um thank you ever so much for watching everybody um and you know if you're not subscribed already press that button down below come along on my journey with me and um yeah i hope you all have an amazing christmas um i will be posting up a video um sort of in between christmas and new year um but yeah i hope you all have an amazing christmas thank you so so much for all your love and support and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.